guys what's going on welcome back to another brand new android studio tutorial and today in this video i will show you that how to install plugins in android studio so basically the plugins are very useful in android studio to simplify our work and in some cases the plugin can lower down the speed of your android studio so but anyways i really recommend adding some of some at least some of the useful plugins inside your android studio so for this tutorial i'm using a symbol a plugin called material penalty which you can see on the right bar of my android studio i have a material penalty and when i click it you can see i can have an option to choose from the material colors so this can be really useful let me show you where you actually want to use it so i want to open the values folder and inside that i have the colors.xml and now you can see by default we have these two blue colors and this pink color so I want to change this blue into something like I want to just use the orange and I can scroll here and choose the whatever else I require. I want to choose this one. Also I'm choosing and also I want to use something like really different one. I want to use this dark gray and now let's go to the layout and design and now you can see we got something orange and something like that so this plugin can be used for designing or giving color for our layout files so i will show you that how to install a plugin inside the android studio so it's pretty much easy all you have to do is just go to the file and then go to settings and in case of the mac then you can go to android studio and select the preference and now from this settings window you have to select the plugins and as you can see i have a lot of plugins already installed now i want to install a new one so i want to just click on the browse respiratories and you can search for whatever else you want so material so we have a lot of things android icon creator drawable import android material design icon generator and pretty much that is i want to so actually this is what i have installed i guess yeah, this is one I have installed. All you have to do is select the one that you really like and uh, just click on the install and uh, that's pretty much it. So once you installed, I suggest to restart the Android Studio so that the plugin can actually work really well. And that's it. And uh, then you'll be getting a plugin like this or uh, sometime it, it may be, it depends on the plugin that uh, where it actually going to show inside the Android Studio. So I hope you got the idea. So that's really quick tutorial. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next tutorial.